Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this one because it's not against the beer and by the way this is uh, day two of uh, Coffee Beer Week and no matter how this review goes it's still going up uh, that's what she said um, but yeah so I, lick, I opened like my cabinet where I've got me, me beers and I got like a, sm like a smell of stale beer I was like, what the fuck? And then I pull this can off and it's sort of like not stuck to the shelf, but it like sort of had to be pulled off. And it's all sticky at the bottom. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. No, it just looks like a normal can. But yeah, it's... It's sticky. And I mean, it's... I, mean, I don't know, you can't really squeeze it, it just like any normal can to be honest um i so see yeah, i'm not too sure if like something's happened to this or it could just be another beer that i've not actually looked at that i might have knocked i don't know i don't know but it's a really like just nasty smell of stale beer so i have to clean me my little shelf there but um yeah anyway so this is a beer i've been wanting to try for absolutely ages uh, because it's Arbor, who I'm a massive fan of. Shame it's not the fine with your milk can, but hey ho, we won't moan too much. And this was picked up from Marks and Spencers, and this of course is the Arbor Cafe Creamer Coffee and Chocolate Stout, clocking in at 6.9% ABV. So let's have a look at this luxurious oatmeal stout brewed with fresh to ground coffee and roasted cacao nibs. Doesn't say. Um, where they've got the kick, uh, the coffee from, which is always a shame, because I always like to know, because I love coffee. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, two minds, well, I am going to review it, because I've just about got five coffee beers that I can review on the channel. Oh, it's got still got a fizz when it opened. That's a good sign, I suppose. Anyway, let's, let's see. Oh, it's got... A little bit of a glug, not too much. And it's definitely carbonated. So it's not gone flat or anything. So it's a mystery at this point. We'll see if I remember to um, on the next coffee video to, to tell you what happened. But anyway, beer in the glass then. And I've got a feeling that's not exactly jet black. I can't tell in this light. They look jet black, but when the head's displayed, you look down, you can see like a brownie colour to it but yeah it's it's looking like a black coffee um essentially with a nice sort of dark tan head that one thing is worth looking nice in this sniff the glass so let's give it a bit of a swirl and a sniff first foremost it smells like a really nice oatmeal stout it's got that sort of like um when you have the milk left over from like granola and stuff i love that milk I love it when milk does that after ser post cereal milk is awesome. And yes, I'm one of those people who actually likes the cereal to absorb. The only way you can eat Weetabix is if you leave it in the milk for ages until it's just like a looks like a grey porridge essentially, and you get that sort of like porridge aroma. Cacao is definitely coming through, really nice, and it's got that sort of like generic coffee aroma which isn't a bad thing because coffee just smells nice anyway <sighs> smells good though a little bit of smokiness there lovely malt build as well off to a good start there's a ch well cacao yeah obviously there's chocolate in you div oh, it smells nice anyway off to a good start let's give it a taste cheers folks First of all, mouthfeel could be a little bit better, especially when it's quoted as luxurious. You're always going to set yourself up to fail when you put words like that on a beer description. And especially with the oatmeal, you expect it to be a little bit bolder. It's not thin, though. It's got a nice texture. 
but I'd like a little bit more body, if that makes sense. Is the texture body the same thing? Who cares? Smelling more like coffee now as well. Really nice coffee flavour in there. You get that, that earthiness. There's almost like a slight wood chip uh, element to it. It's got that sort of like hot, like cocoa powder flavour as well. Nice bitter chocolate. And the coffee element in this is bang on. It's a really nice coffee. Like a nice black coffee. Wouldn't be able to specify what sort of blend or anything like that. It's got a really bitter savouriness on the back end as well, which I do like. <laughs> the only thing you would... A slight detraction on this beer would be the body. <laughs> My voice is going so weird because I'm like... Repeating, beer's repeating on me. In fact, the more I'm drinking it, the more that coffee's coming through. So you get no complaints from me on the, the coffee element. Yeah, it's got like a really savoury character to it, which I do really, really like. That combination of the cacao nibs and the coffee is working brilliantly in this one. Yeah, it's, it's a strong coffee flavour. Getting like a slightly... This is going to sound so fucking pretentious. But if you've ever... Like um, with pistachios. Like put them in the oven for a little bit. Because I like to do sprouts with like pistachios. Because it's a fucking great combination with soy sauce. A little bit of that sort of like soy character actually the more I think about it this isn't a sweet there's really hardly any sweetness to this which I do like you know they could have like oh let's put vanilla in there because we've got to have vanilla in everything got to put vanilla in all sorts of stuff like this it's like just fuck off vanilla's not that good I'm gonna say it Rob hops in I know you like vanilla but I get it's like like this obsession with maple syrup in Imperial Stouts, it's just not a flavour profile I like. Maple syrup, it gets a little bit too rich and dense when it's in beer, I find. Lovely on your pancakes, don't get me wrong, even the, the cheap maple flavoured syrup. Um, to be honest, I don't really ever think I've, I've had like proper um, maple syrup often. Because I refuse to fucking pay how much they charge in a supermarket for real maple syrup. I'd rather get it from like a like an independently sourced like company who imports it directly from Canada. Do you know what I mean? Makes me sound like such a fucking Tory tough when I say stuff like that, but I'm not because I don't like the Tories and. Um, I'd be the poorest toff in the world if I was. Yeah, it's even got like pure coffee bean flavour. Biting into a coffee bean. Which in itself isn't the most nicest thing. Just to pop a fucking coffee bean in your mouth. Cover it in chocolate though, very nice. But yeah, pistachios. When they've slightly caught a little bit i'm getting that sort of flavor or any nut really or anything that's caught in the oven Let, let's be honest but i don't really like that and the fact that you can get this uh, in a supermarket in a 440 mil can granted i don't really have marks and spencers nearby so it's always if it if i'm in the area of a marks and spencers i'd be able to pick it up but i'm sure they, they sell this through the Arbor website as well. But yeah, it, it's... I really love this beer, but at the same time, that body just really does let it down. It really, really does. 
controversial statement if it had a bit more of a luxurious mouthfeel. We'd almost be competing with Common Grounds, which it's a porter, completely different. This, to me, tastes more like a coffee porter as opposed to a coffee stout. But then again, we're in a situation in Brewing where the lines are so blurred. Do you know what I mean? Like, people getting into fights over what DDH actually means. And it's just like... Uh, who cares? Does the beer taste good? Well, yeah, it does. So, shut the fuck up, then. I think this is why I never get taken seriously in the industry. Plus, I'm not one of those fucking wankers who... Fucking circle jerks on Instagram. Always, the people always kicking off about like brew dog and people getting in touch with breweries, but then I've noticed a big surge, and I'm not hating on them because if you get offered some sort of you know um, promoted post, go for it, use your platform. Um, but double punk, the amount of people shilling on uh, Instagram at the moment. With a beer that they've probably in a public forum and on that same platform have like kicked off about Brewdog and then kicked off about people, you know, getting beers from breweries. But there's a big, and I'm not hating on anyone on Instagram, by the way, because if I was in a position where I had actual influence and presence in the industry, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Do you know what I mean? And it's not a bad thing, uh, fundamentally, it's not, but there's just, it just, it, the beer community can be, as most special interest groups, I suppose, can be full of right knobheads. And, yeah, anyway. Why the fuck am I talking about that? It's a beer review. This is damn good. This is... It's coffee and chocolate. And it's, it's a wonderful combination um, just to me some people might find this a little bit too savoury a little bit too bitter a little bit too like such like that but I like a really almost abrasive coffee character in a beer like this I just wish a 6.9% oatmeal stout would just have a little bit more presence and a little bit more girth, because girth isn't isn't a bad thing, is it really? Aside from that, this is wonderful. This is really, really wonderful. I wouldn't call it cafe creme, because that implies that there's a sort of like milky sweetness to it. Um, but yeah, does it have vanilla in there? Malted barley, hops, oats. No, no, it doesn't. In a strange way, maybe a touch of vanilla might... I don't know. Then that goes against my whole childish rant about vanilla in beer. At least it's not got maple fucking syrup in there, uh, which is a, a nice change. I think Mikola put me off maple syrup. Mikola also put me off fucking passion fruit being in every single like tropical sour IPA. Put a different fruit in. Put yuzu in. Put... We need more yuzu beers. That yuzu stout, which I think the bottle's still on the shelf because I've not got the label off yet. From uh, Runaway. Oh, beautiful. And, uh, yeah, what the fuck am I talking about? I need to go back to editing my videos because I just talk utter nonsense. I really do. And I sound like a fucking southern student living up north in Manchester. They're the worst type of students, by the way. Southern students who study up north. They do my tits in. Um, girls are pretty, though. Oh, you can't say that, that's sexist. Oh, fuck off. Anyway. 
Yeah, I mean, you could happily pour it into this. And yes, I did get a red Starbucks cup just because it was a Starbucks cup. I like Starbucks. I know people, you know, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll go to like Siop Shop in Manchester. I'll go to, I'll buy coffee from Ancoats and uh, in, you know, artisanal coffee places. But there's no better coffee for me that I go to more often than getting a star starburst i was going to say starburst starbucks iced black coffee with an additional shot of espresso mate i don't say mate cuz cuz it sounds weird when i say mate um but lad Pal, there we go, pal. But bro, or sis, or well, you can't, don't be a sis, mate. And no, that, that's a joke, that's a joke. But, um, yeah, Starbucks coffee, I like it. And I really like this as well. So, in terms of a rating, then, I'm going to give it an eight and, a, eight and a half out of ten body lets this beer down and I almost suspected it with being a supermarket beer although I'm not one of these people who has a prejudice about supermarket beers do you know what I mean because hey you can't always afford to pay double for the same beer or a similar beer do you know what I mean and I think we've got to a level of brewing here in the UK where even the beers that are making their way to the supermarkets are a lot of the times just as good as something you get in a bottle shop. But then it comes into this like whole fucking discussion about like beer duty now and like, oh you're taking business away from independence. It's like yeah, it's an expensive fucking hobby man. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone can make a, a fucking bottle shop or web order week in, week out. You know, and have like a fucking fridge packed full of other half cans and stuff like that. You know, we're not all investment bankers at the end of the day. And we don't have like small businesses. You know, we're not all wealthy. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of these people who have these opinions, who have good jobs and, you know, things like that. And it's like, oh, fuck off. The supermarkets aren't going to harm independent business because we love to support independent businesses. Do you know what I mean? And in a weird way, I think during lockdown, I think a lot more people are being actually buying directly from breweries, directly from the local bot shops. A lot of places are now having an online presence. So why didn't why didn't these breweries do that sooner? Why did it take a fucking pandemic for a lot of breweries to have sensible business practices? Anyway, uh, yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Just needs a little bit more body, um, and then it'd be absolutely banging. But it's it's awesome as it is. Um, so second day of uh, coffee beer week seems there's not not a problem with this beer. So it's probably another can. I hope it's not that fucking brewery can. That would really piss me off if it if it was the brewery can. Anyway, you'll find out tomorrow potentially. I don't know. Probably not. I'll probably forget it because it'll probably only be reviewed in a week's time anyway. So, anyway, so if you've tried this, <coughs> let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. A fucking twenty minutes. Why do people watch my videos? I don't know. Um, and what's this? A fucking dirty glass with like lip stains on it. And um, yeah, I've not had like a shower for like three days because it's been a, a long weekend for me. So uh, who the who the fuck cares? I'm, you know, sixteen, seventeen stone. When you get to that weight, kind of doesn't really matter if you got greasy hair. Do you know what I mean? I've got a wonky eye anyway, so yeah, I've not got a lot going for me. So why the fuck? What I give a shit about shooting a video for 20 people when I've got greasy hair and a 
an oversaturated light source uh, to the right of me in my student accommodation looking bedroom. Shame on you. Shame on you. Anyway, if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Check out the brewery. Check out yesterday's video. Not tomorrow's video. Yesterday's video. Because uh, tomorrow's video is going to be another weird beard beer. Um, and yeah, do you like coffee beers? Do you like this beer? Do you like Arbor? They're a brewery that, shock horror, I love but don't drink enough of. Um, I need to do a web order with them at some point and um yeah this is really really good it's just the body really lets it down and it's not it's not watery it's not you know do you know what i mean it's not a thin body but it just needs a bit more decadence anyway let me know your thoughts opinions down below if you love coffee though absolute banger one of the most coffee forward beers that i've had in a while um it's just a shame they're not saying, you know, who they're working with, if they've got someone else roast it, or if they're doing it themselves, what sort of um, variety of coffee bean are they using, what what farmer are they supporting in, you know, Angola or Indonesia or New Zealand or anywhere that grows coffee. Um, be careful, because you could go into Jim Davidson territory there. Nobody wants to go into Jim Davidson territory. Anyway, mess of a video. Gone twice as long as it should have. But who cares? Who actually cares?